can do this. Now, let, I, I want to talk about a few things today. And one of them is what is most important and what we have to do. I will tell you that we have legislation. And the legislation went through. I just got back from Washington yesterday. The legislation went through. It was an amendment to a bill to change it that we would actually look into and intensely study, which would include a moratorium when you're having this kind of study, what's going on. Now, everything everybody said is true. It doesn't make sense. So Baum says that, well, you know, we don't know what caused the problem. We don't know what happened. But we know that it has nothing to do with the windmills. Let me tell you, I'm a straight talker. I'm going to talk straight today. I know what it has to do with. I'm going to give you the answer. Everybody's ready, right? It's money. This is about money. It's always been about money. This is a multi-billion dollar corporation, and not only them, but all the other ones along the coast. They're all about money. They're spreading money all over the place to try to push this through. They are moving as quickly as they can because they don't want the moratorium. I have legislation for a full moratorium. The legislation did pass. That I said we're going to have a GAO study, a GAO study that's going to really dig into this the General Accounting Office and find out what's going on. What I need from you, it hasn't gone through the Senate yet, and the President hasn't signed it yet. It went through the House. No. It went through that. I, but we got to get them. I know they don't care. But you've got to, every living man, woman, and child has got to write this President, and I'm going to get down to the facts. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. This President and this governor in saying whether you're going to vote for him or not, I don't care. But we're never going to vote for you if you don't do something to stop this and have this moratorium. Woo! I want everybody to go home today, All next right. week, their friends, their neighbors, everybody, and tell them to do that. We're going to overwhelm them. I got to tell you, I'm beating the daylights out of them on New York, Philadelphia, uh, national television, everywhere I can, because we got to stand up. If you don't stand strong, if you don't stand tall, we're going to lose this fight. Woo! Second thing. Just to find the veracity, the people that we're dealing with, if you really wonder if they tell the truth or not. So I've been doing with this, dealing with this for a number of years. A few years back, the first group that came to me were the fishermen. And they said something's wrong, number one, because they have to live off of the water. And they said something's wrong and, and, and nobody's willing to help or even look into it. And we're overpowered by the money that the other side has. So I met with them. I met with these groups. I met with Orsted and the other groups and said, I want you to do something for me. You tell me it's all going to be good, that it's all right, that it's all nothing to worry about. Well, if that's true, you meet with these fishermen and some of these groups. You talk to them and see how we can make things better. At least see if, how we can improve this. Let some time pass. Orsted came back to me. The other groups came back. I said, did you meet with them? They said, oh, yeah, we met with them, and we want you to know, Congressman. This was in Washington they told me this. They lied to me. But we want you to know that everything's okay. <laughs> when everything's okay, the fishermen are happy. So I figured, and again, I'm a little rough. I'm sorry. Screw you. I'm going to sell. I'm going to get. I'm going to get. The fishermen in the convention center, and this time we had it in the Wildwood Convention Center. We had about 150 fishermen there, and we had this Orsted and these groups there, the windmill groups. And I asked the fishermen, I said, how many people here have had a working relationship with Orsted or any of these groups? You know how many raised their hand? Nine. About 150? Nine. Three. They all work for Orsted. Ah. That's what we're against. And when I tell you it's money, it's billions of dollars. When I tell you you're not going to have control over your energy anymore, and this even goes beyond the whales, over 50% of the energy is going to be controlled by foreign countries. Oh! This is a safety issue. This is the strength of our nation. Those whales, and I know this sounds corny, and I don't mean to sound corny, were a divine blessing from God to wake us the hell up. Woo! So you got to do something. This is the real. This is the real thing. We are really in trouble with this, and we've got to fight. 
And, and, and again, Orsted's not going to tell the truth. They are doing not. everything they can to attack me, to attack others, to, to, to make sure that we don't move forward. We must move forward. We must stop this. So again, the answer is get to the governor. Tell him to cut it out. Get to the president. Tell him to cut it out. Get to the United States Senate. Our two U.S. senators are starting to get scared. Not a word from them all along. Finally, the other day, they said, I think we've got to look into this. They did a public statement. Get to them and tell them now. It's Woo! time. And by the way, when they tell you, when, when these groups like Baum and Noah say, oh, it couldn't have been from the windmills, Bullshit. you're not telling me if you're using sonar, if you're digging down underneath the ocean, on the ocean floor, if you're pounding away and you affect their sense of navigation and hearing, that they're not going to run right into a boat a lot more easily? Are we stupid? I don't think so. And I want to really thank all of you because you know what? This didn't come from the top down. It didn't come from the president. It didn't come from the United States senators. It came from people starting to think this is wrong. Thank you. Fishermen. Thank you. Real people. People who love the ocean. And I'm going to wrap it up. But you know, it's a special feeling. All of us who were here remember being kids coming to the ocean. We remember how we made the ocean cleaner. There's some of us that are old enough that remember the tar balls. Remember them? Remember the tar balls? And we said we're not going to put up with this. So people have given everything in their heart and soul to make this beautiful ocean even better. And then we have a company that comes along mm -hmm. and says they're going to save it. And by the way, I'm going to leave this as the last thing because i got to deal with all the issues. Guaranteed, I've always told you the truth. We know it and we've checked it out. If they put these things in place, your utility rates are going to go up, not down, they're going to go up. The rate payer advocate said so. So it's going to cost more, fishing's going to get hurt, something fierce, tourism's going to get hurt because they're over 100 feet, three times the size Thousand. of the Statue of Liberty. Thousand. You are going to see them from 20 miles away. Orsted lying and these companies are lying again. Yep. And it's going to hurt tourism. It's going to hurt all our industries, offshore and onshore. We make money off of this beautiful ocean without hurting it. And they want to hurt it, and they're going to hurt us as well. God bless you. Stay strong. Stay tough.